So, a fairly common problem in most people's gardens are aphids. Aphids are tiny little insects that like to latch onto luscious green vegetation and suck the juices out of it. Um, they can become a problem in a garden. I feel like aphids are kind of inevitable regardless of what you're growing. So the main way that I deal with them is to plant nasturtiums and give aphids a sort of target plant to move onto. The other thing this does is it then attracts ants who farm the aphids. So ants apparently have some sort of anesthetic quality in the chemicals in their legs that turns aphids into essentially little zombie workers. The ants will actually move around from plant to plant and they will harvest the honeydew, which is a, a combination of the water and the sugars from the plant that the aphid eats. Um, and generates these little honeydew droplets on the back of aphids. There's some nasturtium seeds there, um, just as an example of what they look like. Um, other plants are, are good substitutes for this as well, but basically creating a habitat, not for aphids to thrive necessarily, but to detract them away from other plants like tomatoes or peppers and things that you really don't want eaten. The ants generally do a pretty good job of controlling the aphids. If I start to notice in late summer them really getting out of hand and even the nasturtiums are really struggling, then I'll get out a water bottle to just spray like a steady stream of water to knock some of the aphids off. And I find if I'm doing this a couple of times a week, that will keep things um, okay. But overall, we want to encourage things like ladybugs and ants to come into our garden to create a natural level of predation. So that's insects that are actually beneficial to our gardens, and that way we don't have to spread or spray any harmful chemicals uh, around the things that we want to eat.